Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very interesting unboxing. <laughs> uh, I was putting this off because I didn't know exactly how I was going to do this because there is a large portion of my viewership that is here for my unboxings because I do do a lot of book unboxings and we're running into a bit of a problem <laughs> because I'm sure as most of you are aware by now there is a St. Martin's Press boycott going on. I don't really talk about the specifics of it because I'm not well versed enough in the politics behind it to really talk about it in a knowledgeable way. So I'm not going to get into the politics of it. We're not really going to talk about it but I did need to find a way to show the books without marketing them that's that's what i was having a struggle with a struggle with because both the fairy loot young adult and the alcrate young adult are both i think it's wednesday books so basically what i've decided i'm going to do is i'm just gonna cover the titles and we're gonna talk about just the designs and we're, we're gonna focus on the author and the actual designers of the book and that is the best i can come up with and still do the unboxing so if you are not interested in seeing that go ahead and and go to another unboxing channel that's totally fine i'm not here to force anybody to be here to do anything so that is kind of what we're going to attempt to do first we're going to get into the adult owl crate which i believe is not part of the boycott so let's let's get into the unboxings and see how it goes and that's the other problem like when we talk about the fandoms i haven't gone through all the fandoms because i don't know what's in here so i'm gonna have to do like editing on the back half i don't know how this is going to work you're going to be here with me for this journey if you're staying and watching <laughs> so anyway here is the january 2024 alcrate adult box okay we have mortal hearts january adult fantasy that's really pretty i like that artwork and then right off the bat we have the book <laughs> that's the thing about these adult boxes oh it is like the exact size of the box that's that is the funny thing about these adult boxes is they don't have any like packing or anything in there most of the time so it's just like you take off the card book all right so here's the book unwrapped it's very interesting I don't know if I love the artwork. There's something that feels like it's missing on it. The Longest Autumn. I also have never heard of this book. Hmm. It's very short. Never heard of it. Here's the back. Magic infuses our world and it is the blood of the gods that carries it. That's interesting. I literally have never heard of this book. What is going on? Okay, let's look at the back of the dust jacket because there is something going on. It's a bit weird because you can see the front design through it. So you can see the front design right there. But that's really pretty. I like that. You just can see the front through it because of the foiling, I believe. Yeah, you can see where all the foiling is. So the foiling kind of came through, but that's really pretty. I like that. And then who do we have up there? Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Again, never heard of it, but it looks like it might be romantic fantasy. Definitely seems like a fantasy book. So here is under the book. Again, lots of foiling. This is like an orangey foiling this time. It's pretty. A little busy for my taste. Do not get to choose what? Do I? See, this is what I'm talking about. I can't read it. Do I not get to choose what is sacred and what is sinful? So it's pretty, it's just a little hard to read. And then on the back, oh gosh, there's more. There's a lot more writing on the back. Hearts will heal the season. What? Hearts will heal the season, will give way to spring, to summer, to winter, and on and on and on. But we will never forget that longest autumn. <sighs> it's very hard to read. <laughs> it's very hard to read. I do like it. I like there's potion bottles. I like the vibes of this. It's like foresty, again, autumn vibes. Kind of a weird choice for January because we're in the middle of winter. Here is artwork on the inside. That's actually showing it a lot better. That's that's a lot brighter than what it looks like. I'm actually seeing it better in my phone recording it than actually physically looking at it. Like you definitely need that light on it to really show it, but it looks pretty. And then we have the bound in author letter, which I love that they're doing, and the assigned page. So that's pretty. And then we just have some basic like weird yellowish orange 
edges. I don't know how I feel about this. Like I, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, there's a ribbon bookmark in here. I missed that. So we have again, like this like yellowy orange kind of ribbon bookmark thing going on. It matches like perfectly with that. It's just shiny. Okay, let's see what this book is about because again, I have literally never heard of this book. Under the right circumstances would even a god fall. Tyrn is one of four humans rigorously selected to usher the turn of the seasons into the mortal world. Every year she escorts the taciturn god, taciturn, taciturn, god autumn between the godly and human realms. Autumn's seasonal stay among mortals brings cooler weather, changing leaves, and the harvest of apples and gourds until winter takes its place. This year, the enchanted mirror that separates their world shatters after Tyrn and Autumn pass through, trapping both of them in the human realm. As the endless Autumn stretches on, crops begin to fail and the threat of starvation looms. Away from the magic of the gods' home, Tyrn's debilitating headaches return with a vengeance. Worse, Autumn's extended stay in the human realm turns him ever more mortal and vulnerable, stirring a new forbidden attraction to Tyrn. While the mortal world scrambles to find a way to reassemble the mirror, Tyrion digs into the secrets of the High Society and finds an unlikely ally or enemy in the enigmatic sorcerer and master of poisons, Sidriel. Thrown into a world of mystery, betrayal, and espionage as she searches for the truth, might Tyrion lose her morals, her hard-earned position, and the illicit spark between her and Autumn? Oh, that... So is there... Is this a love triangle? Because this brings up another romance, kind of. But I don't know. I don't, I really hope this isn't a love triangle. <laughs> okay, so the original cover. Oh, I don't like the original cover either. <laughs> so there's the original cover. I'm hiding my nails because they're not, they're not very nice right now. That's the original cover. I don't like that either. So I don't really like either one. The exclusive cover is designed by Niall C. Grant. Reversible dust jacket illustrated by Alice Blake Art. Foil case designed by Sarah Rebtine. End papers illustrated by Marble NXX Art. Signed by the author on a page designed by Divine Literary. Sprayed edges, ribbon bookmark, and there is a bonus chapter bound into the book. So, very cool. I'm not a big fan of the look of it, but I think it sounds good. So I'm excited about the actual book, just not really the design of it. Okay, let's move into Uncharted Territory <laughs> with the Young Adult Owl Crate. This is going to be interesting how this is done. So the Young Adult Owl Crate is enchanted to meet you. We will go over spoilers at the end as best as we can. We already have what seem to be fabric items and then our new pin. That's what I'm like really excited about is the new pin. So let's get into it. I'm very excited. Okay, so new design, Perfect Pairings Collection, limited edition, one of 12, January 2024. I'm really excited. I'm very excited. It doesn't say what it is. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> it says Howl's Moving Castle. Okay. Okay. This, this is fun. This is, this is fun. This is fun. This is different. Okay. So here is the pin, which is so pretty. It is a little bit funky because it's a moving pin. So it doesn't, it's supposed to sit like this, but because it's a moving pin, it's kind of whatever it's fine it doesn't really bother me that much but that looks really really cool you have calcifer in there too i like the background that looks really nice but it moves see ignore my nails but it moves like that that's so cool i do think the mechanism is a little funky but overall that's just really neat i hope they're not all like this i hope all of them are different designs but that's cool. That's cool. Even if it's a little funky, they're, I hope hopefully they're working out the mechanism. But that is really, really cool. And it's pretty. Next item is some sort of fabric item. It looks like it's going to be a couch cushion, which I haven't gotten one in a long time. So I'm okay with getting one if this is what this is. Oh, no, it's a canvas tote bag. <laughs> it's a tote bag. Uh, this is the hollow souvenir bag. Once upon a broken heart. Oh, that's pretty. I kind of wish the design was covering more of it and there's nothing on the back. So I do wish there was a bigger design, but this is really nice, very nice canvas. Oh, it's so pretty. The Hollow Inn for Travelers and Adventurers. And I love the fox on it. Yeah, this is really, really nice. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this. Next, we have a set of pencils, historical romance coloring kit. 
Okay, so there's gonna be... Okay, it says, indulge in some romantic self-care with this coloring kit with three gorgeous postcards designed by Vera Dramonsky and pencil crayons designed by Teresa Chen, the Divine Literary. This set references three iconic historical romances, Outlander, Bridgerton, and Pride and Prejudice. So I don't think there's anything too special about the actual color pencils, but let me pull it out and see if they say anything. But I think it's just, they're just like pretty, they're like almost pastel-esque color pencils yeah they're very pastel-y but they don't say anything oh Pemberley they do okay so this one says Pemberley this one says Bridgerton this one says debutante this one's I'm gonna run out of fingers to hold these epistolary next one is this green is pretty Highlands I'm glad it's focusing because I don't have another hand to actually like put behind it. And then Sassanok. Okay, so those are pretty. I like that they're very simple and gorgeous colors. That's going to be fun. They're very neon-esque colors. So here are the little postcards that go with it. They definitely look like, I I'm happy it's like this. I was worried it was going to be like people and then the neon colors <laughs> would not work very well. So this is the first one. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. That's definitely Pride and Prejudice. Then you have this one. For where all love is, the speaking is... For where all love is, the speaking is unnecessary. I don't know. And then I love you with everything I am. I don't know which one is which because I don't remember that from Bridgerton. I assume this is Bridgerton and this is Outlander because the the bee the bee there's bees on the on the last book right so i'm gonna i'm gonna assume this is outlander and this one is bridgerton so and then this one obviously is prime prejudice <laughs> i like these i will definitely use them they're very small so they could be a bit hard to see in color but i like it i i really enjoy coloring <laughs> next we have something i don't know what this is if you're afraid of your own dream, you're welcome in mine. This is weird. This feels weird. This is a very strange material. I have no idea what this is. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna have to look up what this is because I literally have, I don't even have a guess as to what this is. Okay, next item, creature and companions. Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairy. They really like doing Emily Wilde stuff in these book boxes. What is this going to be? Oh, this is a bookmark, I believe. Yep. I, oh, yes. <laughs> I love it. I, I just love Emily Wilde, so I'm very excited. I didn't love the second book. I did read uh, Emily Wilde's Map of the Other Lands. I did not love it, but I'm still really excited for the next one. And I love this. This is so good. Ugh, yeah, Shadow. I was trying to remember the name. I kept wanting to say Grim, but I knew it wasn't Grim. Shadow. First companion to join us in the magical shat is the magical shadow from Emily Wilde's. Is this a a collection of medical medical? A collection of metal bookmarks so that these wonderful creatures can make your reading journey special. That's so cool. So this is gonna be a Creatures and Companions uh, limited edition collection. So the first one was Emily Wilde's. That's exciting. I'm curious other ones they're gonna do. This is by Sayre.art. I'm excited. Okay, so this looks like it goes along. What is this? Uh, Dreamer reusable dishcloth. Inspired by Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Designed by the pros and cons. It is wool wood pulp cotton hand wash only hang to dry interesting i would never have thought about that i wonder how different it feels when it's wet that's weird that's very strange i'm gonna have to try that out i've never heard of this type of reusable item before so interesting i'm definitely gonna have to give this like a shot and try this out but yeah it's definitely kind of weird I literally just poured those stupid crinkle paper things 
everywhere. <laughs> like literally everywhere. Okay, we are down to the book. So let me let me figure out how to cover the, the, the title. <laughs> but we all know, I mean, you all know what it is. You can go look it up. I just, I don't want to show it. It was a Janu it was it a January release. I actually got this book from St. Martin's Press, which is really sad. It was my first, I was going to show it in a, the book haul that I did. Uh, it's my first marketing book is what I got from them, which explains they're, they're getting desperate. So they're sending to smaller, uh, influencers and I almost showed it. And that's when I found out about the, the boycott. And I was like, I feel like me getting this book from publishers was a uh, mark against them almost because <laughs> they're getting desperate. So I'm upset about that. But uh, yeah, this is this is pretty. Alcrate did a pretty good job. I do like the original cover. Uh, so let me just, I'll just cover it with my hand. But I think it is, I think it's pretty. So here is the book. It's got a very Once Upon a Broken Heart feel for it. I like the orange. What's with the orange foiling? This was also with Alcrate's other one. I wonder if they just had a lot of orange foiling. <laughs> but it's pretty. I like it. I will say I don't mind showing the author because this is not a boycott against the authors. This is going to be the weirdest unboxing. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> so here is the back. And it is this had been a fairy tale after all. So that looks really, really cool. We have this like pinkish, yeah, it's definitely very pink sprayed edges. I don't know if the pink goes super well with the rest of the book. So if you look at with like the orange, I feel like they should have done rose gold foiling instead of orange. Because the orange does not look great and then what's with the green <laughs> what is happening and then the green bookmark like what is why why would you pick a green bookmark i feel like the green looks kind of weird and it's not even like a green that matches the cover i'm trying to find the stupid bookmark because it won't come out <laughs> it's not even like it's a green that matches the front of the book either it's like bright green that's weird, right? Like that, that is a little bit weird. Okay, let's look at the inside of the book. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. They definitely did a lot with this. Ooh, and I like this artwork. So there is the artwork. That looks really cool. I like this style of artwork. Very happy with that. That looks really, really good. And then, it's, okay, so I know where the green is at least. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like the green and the pink. Oh, I just don't think it looks very good. I feel like this is definitely an aesthetic choice. Like some people are really, really, really going to love this. For me, I am not a fan of this green and pink look, but I like the idea behind it. It feels very Bridgerton, uh, the style of this book and, and what it's about. Something has begun to bloom in what has lain fallow. So I'm excited about this book, uh, but I don't love the art style oh this looks very similar to oh what was it was it oh I can't talk about that book either <laughs> the Rebecca Ross book the design I think in that one looked very similar to this I can't remember if it was that book or not I love it though I love this design I think this looks really good this does look similar a little bit to the unmaking of June Farrow the the secret cover on the inside it kind of looks like that and it is, oh, it's different. Okay. See, we've got some gold foiling on the back. This is even prettier. I love this back one a lot. We have a bound in author letter and the signed a page. So very happy with that. So I think it looks good. We're going to keep this out and look at this next to the fairy loot edition because the fairy loot did the exact same book. Okay, let's talk about the spoiler page. Like I said, it's gonna be a little funky talking about. <laughs> so the tote bag is inspired by Once Upon a Broken Heart. The tote bag is designed by Jade Cum Cunningham or Bluely Boo, which is, again, I really like that designer. The reusable napkin is designed by The Pros and Cons. It is inspired by Strange the Dreamer. The pin collection is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies is designed by Sayer Art. It is the new 20, one of the new 2024 collections. Uh, the Coloring Kitten Postcards was designed by Vera Jermonski. The Pencil Crayons designed by Team Alcrate. It is Bridgerton Outlander and Pride and Prejudice. The 
20, the other enamel pin collection or the other collection, the 2024 Perfect Pairings. This is designed by Sarah Art. And the first one is Howl's Moving Castle. So the 2024 book has a totally redesigned exclusive cover by No One Designs, uh, lichen and limestone with the pretty pink edges and green ribbon bookmark. Turn over the cover for the reversible dust jacket with gorgeous artwork by Gianni Philly. Exclusive foil stamp on the hardcover designed by lichen and limestone. You'll find a foiled Foiled end pages done by Hotch Andrews and the author letter from Allison Saff, the author, and bonus content uh, bound to the book just for our subscribers. Okay, next month is Treacherous Love, which I think is also <laughs> an SMP as a St. Martin Press book. Uh, and I think Fairy Lou is also doing it. <laughs> so it's, it's gonna be very fun. Uh, every February box will include a ceramic Cruel Prince mug designed by Off the Hook Studio. That's, that's, that's everything in Alfred. I think it was really good. I think it was really good. I like the design on the book. I like the items. I will get use out of all the items. I'm a little weirded out by the reusable item, but it's because reusable items are trying to find the best way to reuse stuff, which is amazing. So I'm definitely gonna try it. I just don't, oh, I'm, I'm gonna see how well it works. <laughs> all right, next up and last, we have our young adult fairy loot. I'm really excited to see the difference. Oh, I didn't cut this one. I haven't opened this one at all. All right, I just ripped it off there. <laughs> just ripped it right off. It feels heavy. It feels like there's a lot going on. All right, so here we have the spoiler card, Regency and Scandal, January 2024. Very pretty. I believe we should have an item in here that was not included in December's box. I did not do an unboxing for December's box because uh, I was very distracted in December. <laughs> December was a very long month, so I did miss December unboxing some Alcrate stuff, I think. I think I did Alcrate. I, I missed the Fairy Loots, I believe, and the Adult Alcrate. Okay, so, but we should have something in here, I believe, that was supposed to be in a previous box, but we'll see. So first item up, we have some sort of little lunchbox. Uh, this is tiny for a lunchbox. <laughs> Maybe I just pack a big lunch. Let me close this, because it being open is not doing any favors. Okay, it's bigger than I thought. It's bigger than I thought. Your stuff's just gonna be like rolling around and the insulation is not great. This almost would work better as a little makeup bag if you want a makeup bag with a handle on it and you can put like inserts and stuff in there. So to me, I would use this as a makeup bag, but it's really cute. This is definitely Bridgerton feeling. I don't know what the actual uh, fandom is for this. It says T-W-S-O-L-S. And that is a lot of letters that I I don't know if I can actually come up with the name of the series. <laughs> but it's got Bridgerton feels. Again, everything is going to feel very Regency. So I'm curious what exactly this one is from. But there are daggers, which isn't Bridgerton. Okay, next up, this is weirdly heavy. It's like, it's strangely heavy. Oh, okay. So this is, oh, I love this. Okay, this is an apron, but like like just a, like a tie down, I can't do it. Not there, you tie it around your waist, <laughs> but I'm just showing it. Oh man, okay, this is really cute. I don't know, I bet this is the book of the month because the, the scissors, or it could be half a soul potentially. What is it, half a soul? All it says is Regency Fairy Tales Apron. So the actual spoiler card will say more, but this could be half a soul or the book of the month. It's very nice. It's actually very, very nicely made. I'm very impressed. It has very long strings, so it should fit plenty of different sizes because sometimes you can have issues with aprons and they just don't make these strings long enough for one size fits all. And I'm glad they made it so that everybody could wear it. It stinks though. <laughs> like I, oh my gosh, it smells. This is going to have to go immediately into the wash. It stinks. I don't know if it's, oh, and it's all over my hands. Oh no. Yeah, it stinks. I don't know what that smell is, but I'm and I just put it right through my hair. <laughs> I'm so good at things. I haven't done one of these unboxings in a very long time and I feel like you can tell. <laughs> you can tell. Next item is a long item. The Otherlands Plant Pot. So this has got to be Emily Wilde's. Yeah, Emily Wilde's Plant Pot. Another Emily Wilde's item. Again, they really like Emily Wilde's and the new book did come out in January. So here's the design on it. It is a very cute. Very adorable. This is adorable. <laughs> this is so cute. The Otherlands. This is adorable. I love this. 
Yeah, this is the type of stuff that I absolutely love getting from book boxes. It is so cute. I'm very happy with this. And it's just a very cute design. I love it. Okay, next item, potentially a pin. Oh, it is the book of the month. It's a brooch, brooch, <laughs> it's a brooch from the book of the month. And it is designed by Jez Hawk and the portrait art is by Nero Sky. Oh, Nero Sky has some really cool artwork. Oh, okay. This looks pretty cool. This looks pretty cool. I would definitely just have it. See, it's like it's like that type of brooch. Uh, I would have this as just a pin. I don't know how I would display this. It's very pretty. It kind of creeps me out. Like, I don't know who would actually wear it unless you like, like there's some people who really like that type of art style, like the, the older pictures kind of thing. Uh, and it definitely gives that vibes and it definitely works for the box. I just don't know how like practical of an item it really is, but it's really pretty. It's really well made. I believe this is the item that was supposed to be in last month. Ember in the Ashes travel case. Yeah, because this is not, this does not fit the Regency vibe. So this was supposed to come in one of the other boxes. This is Ember in the Ashes. It's nice. I don't love the material. Blackcliff Academy. Duty first on to death but it's it's let me see if i can open this up find where it opens it feels not the nicest but oh, this is actually you know what this has got a lot of interesting compartments so you have this on here and this kind of separates things you can put plenty of stuff in here so i mean there's a lot going on i just don't love the material but this could definitely work for laptops you probably want to put a little bit more padding if you want to put a laptop in here, but you can put toiletries. I don't know what is with toiletries today. <laughs> you can put like your makeup bags and shoes. Shoes would actually go really well in here because you're not going to be worried about it getting messed up. I would definitely put shoes in here. This is a shoe case. <laughs> then we have the tarot cards, which potentially are either... I don't think it's Bridgerton. This also might be from the book. They're really cute though. They've got like a little bit of an anime style to them. They're adorable looking. That's so cute. I feel like that's a bit of an unfortunate placement <laughs> for that moon. <laughs> but they're cute. I like them. Her card is adorable. He's got some dead eyes, but that's okay. We'll, we'll forgive the dead eyes. Okay, moving on to the book. This one feels so much smaller than the other one. I know it's the same book. But it's like significantly thinner. It's probably like the... That one looks really big. It's got to be UK versus US edition kind of thing going on. Fairy Scoop we'll check afterwards. And then we have artwork. Oh, it's pretty. I like it. I like it. That's nice. And then here is the author letter if you want to check it out. It's so pretty. And then I know there's a bookmark in here somewhere. Yeah, there is the bookmark. And then, ooh, ooh, look at those edges. They look pretty cool. That looks very Regency. This is an interesting feeling cover. <laughs> I'm a little sus about this cover. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, here is the book. This has got uh, a Sorcerer of Thorns vibes, right? Like, I don't love how he looks. I like how she looks. This is, it's such a glossy cover. I'm gonna have a hard time with the lighting on it. Uh, it's it's giving me Sorcery of Thorns vibes, like that artwork style. I don't love it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't think it's as polished or looks as nice as the Sorcery of Thorns books. I don't, I don't love the artwork on it. I think so much more, like you could have done something way cooler. I definitely think Alcrate wins the cover. Alcrate definitely, I like the cover better. And then it's so weird because the back isn't that weird feeling. Like it's a normal cover on the back. A love story for the ages threaded with intrigue and scandal. So weird. That's so strange. I do like the side. I can't, the side is so hard to show. I do like the side. And I like her hand with like a needle. I think that's pretty cool. But I'm not impressed. So here are the edges. I do like the edges. I like the edges way better on this than I do on the Alcrate version of it. And then wins, because I love the inside. <laughs> I love the inside. The inside looks very similar to like the Alcrate vibe. Okay, let's look at this 
first oh the artwork is just the same it's just it's just that but it's you have the you have the name and then the side is like that <laughs> it's the struggle of real guys so that is one side of it i like it i like how that looks and then i like that that artwork is on there that's really pretty <laughs> i'm not showing this well okay so that is the dust jacket man the struggle is so hard okay i really like the naked hardback it looks really really good so that looks really cool i like that and i like the feel of it I, this is what i was talking about i wanted like a rose gold or pink foiling not the weird orange that's on the cover of that one so i really like this one i like both of them but i think i like this one wins because i really like this hardcover and then we have the back which looks so pretty. She embroidered until Kit's breathing evened out beside her until it fell quietly into rhythm with hers. So I really, really like this cover. I like it. And I think that this looks really, really good with it. So that's really cool. And then we have some pretty artwork on the inside. It feels so Bridgerton. Like that's all I'm getting these vibes. And then we have the author page and then we have the signed page which is really cool i like how they did that and then is the back the same nope the back is different that is so pretty i love that that looks so good okay i'm pretty happy with both of these books like i i knew i was very like hard on them i think it's because i had such high hopes for this book and there's so much you could have done with bridgerton s style things that I did kind of want to see a something a little bit different from both of them, but overall, I actually really like how they did both of them. So good job, Alcrate. Good job, Fairy Lou, on this book. <laughs> Spoiler card. Ceramic flower pot designed by Anne Guy and Art, Emily Wilds. The brooch is by Jez Hawk. The portrait by Nero Sky. And it is the book of the month. Lunch bag by Blue Lee Boo. It is Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels. The apron is by Forensics and Flowers, and it is Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. So I kind of, yeah, did I guess that? I think I guessed that. Uh, the tarot cards are the characters from the book of the month. So it is Kit and Niam, and it is, yeah, by Allison Saft. Illustrated by Talented St. Dree. Feature book of the month, we have a full color foil design on the hardcover by Blue Lee Boo. Reversible dust jacket artwork by Sass Hack Art. <laughs> the, <laughs> these names sometimes are so hard. <laughs> and papers with different art on the front and back by Sass Hack Art. Digitally sprayed edges, bonus content, and a digital author signature. Don't forget to read the author letter with the character print on the reverse side by Sass Hack Art. So that is everything that was in the box. I like it. Yeah, that traveling case, Ember and Ash's traveling case, was the extra item from a previous month. Yeah, I liked it. I liked all the boxes. I think they all did a good job. The only, probably my biggest disappointment is the Alcrate adult book. I did not love what was done with it. So I kind of wish something cooler had been done, but I do like it better than the original. <laughs> so I'll at least like take that. All right, so later me, later in the day, cutting in very quickly, I am basically going to delete my outro <laughs> that I originally did because I had two more boxes show up. My Evernight box and my Fairy Loot adult box. So let's, let's get into the two more boxes that came. This happens every time. This happens every single time I try to do an unboxing where I like wait and wait and wait for stuff to come. And then I'm finally like, okay, tracking's not updating. I don't know when it's showing up. Let's just record. And then I record and they either show up the same day later <laughs> or they show up the next day after I've already posted it. I love it. I love it. So yeah, I'm going to leave Evernight Last, because that is the one that I am most excited about because I know what the book is. I am so excited for the book. I'm probably going to read it like right away. <laughs> uh, so let's do the Adult Fairy Loot first. Okay, so Adult Fairy Loot, January, almost just threw that, January 2024, we have Star Chosen. So the only January 2024 book that I'm missing or box that I'm missing is Illumicrate. And that literally, they just sent me a tracking thing for that. So I don't think that's coming for a while. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking mid-February when that's going to come. So yeah, Star Chosen. I keep thinking of things to say because these are book-only boxes. There's there's literally nothing. It's just the book. It's just, it's just the book. Okay, so we have... Ooh, these look very similar to the edges for... 
Oh, was it Red Scholar's Wake? I don't remember. No, I don't think that was it. They're very similar edges to something, although the key is cool. Okay, so is this, where's this facing? Okay, we have an art print with the author letter. Ooh, that looks pretty. I like that. It's got a very winter vibe to it, which I like. There is the author letter. That's gonna be fun to read. Oh, that's hard to read. <laughs> They have, they have that doctor's handwriting that we talk about. Ooh, this looks pretty. This looks really pretty. Is there a bookmark in these? I never remember if there's a bookmark in these. I don't think there is. I think it's just the author letter. Okay, so here is the book. Okay, this looks gorgeous. And I do know what the original looks like. I like the original, but this is so pretty. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love this. This is gorgeous. I think this is such a cool design. This is a totally redesigned cover. This is awesome. This almost looks like an indie book. This looks cool. I like it. My only issue, <laughs> my only issue with this is uh, I get migraines and this design pattern actually looks like an aura that you have with migraines. At least to me, everyone's auras can look different, but it, it looks a little bit like this. So that's the only thing. It looks better to me like in person, it doesn't bother me as much, but on the actual camera, it's a little, it's a little bit, but I love it. Like I love, I just love how this looks. It looks so cool. And then the edges look stunning. I love these edges. They definitely are, I think they're this tower. Yeah, it looks like this tower but it looks so good. I'm obsessed with it with the key. Yeah, and then there's the bottom of the key. I, yeah, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Okay, the artwork is the same on the inside as it was on the author letter. God, there's a ton of stuff for this. Okay, so we have, this looks close to the original cover, so you actually can reverse it totally. That's kind of what it looks like. It almost looks like this is the reverse and this is the actual cover, but it's obviously not. But this is, I think, very close to the original cover. It looks so good. I like both sides. I like both sides a lot. And then we have this. Honestly, I like it, but it's kind of a letdown after like how amazing that other cover was. And then nothing on the back. Inside, like I said, it had the artwork. And then different artwork on the back. Oh, it looks so good. I love this art style. He looks awesome. I feel like I'm really picky about male artwork. And I think that looks really, really good. Okay, is it signed? I don't, I never can tell if they're signed anymore or just digital, but that is the signed page. I like this, I think it looks really good. For centuries, Everly's have seen their brightest and best disappear, taken as punishment for a crime no one remembers. For a purpose no one understands. Their tormentor is a woman named Penelope who never ages, never grows sick, and never forgives a debt. Ten years ago, Violet Everly's mother left to break the curse and never returned. Now Violet must find her mother or she will be taken in her place. Her hunt leads her into a seductive, magical underworld of power-hungry scholars, fickle gods, and monsters bent on revenge, and into the path of Penelope's quiet assistant, Alexander, who she knows cannot be trusted, and yet to whom she finds herself undeniably drawn. Tied to a very literal deadline, Violet will travel to the edges of the world to find her mother and a key to the city of Stardust where the Everly story began. This is neat. It's kind of different. I think that's fun. Uh, I love that the villain's name is Penelope. <laughs> it's not like the scariest villain name, but I kind of like it. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. The spoiler card. Yeah, it says City of Stardust is the feature book of the month by Georgia Summers. It is a spellbinding fantasy. Uh, the exclusive redesign cover by Vitkovskaya underscore art, reversible dust jacket with a color variant of the trade cover, foil on the hardcover by Lizart underscore Sardonyx, digital sprayed edges on all three sides by Alyssa's World. I follow them on Instagram. I really like their artwork. End papers with different art on the front and back by Lizart Sardonyx and a digital signature. Don't forget to read the author letter, which also has the art on it for Lizart Sardonyx. Okay, I'm pretty excited about that, but now we're moving on to one that I'm like really excited about. So Evernight, so far I really need to read the other book that I've gotten from them, but I did DNF Silver Nitrate, which is really sad. So hopefully I start liking the books a little bit better after that first one but I still haven't read Last to Leave the Room. I've heard mixed things about that. People seem to either really like it or really really dislike it. So but I, I have really high hopes for this because this is a young adult horror which tends to be what I like. Okay so we have January 2024 Evernight. We have a bunch of information on the back we'll get to at the end. 
and they did include a little bit of <laughs> packing material and here is the book. It's funny seeing how small this book is. It seems like they went with some sort of, it looks almost B format. I think it's B format. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here is the book. I'm obsessed. This is definitely B format, I believe. The Invocations by Crystal Sutherland. It looks so good. It looks so good. Oh, I am so excited. So Crystal Sutherland also wrote House of Hollow, which is like one of my favorite young adult horror books. I loved it so much. So I am so excited. This looks stunning. I like the original cover, but this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, and everything about it is so cool. There's the side and then there's, there's the back. This is like aesthetics. This is aesthetics of aesthetics. There's that, there's that, and then that's so creepy looking. It's so creepy looking. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, this looks great. Oh, this looks so good. Okay, nothing underneath, but we have, it feels like I'm holding a journal. I'm so, I'm so excited. Oh, this looks gorgeous. And then you have this on the back. Anyone who's not into like creepy things is probably not gonna like this because <laughs> this is definitely giving off very creepy vibes because it's kind of giving like the Necronomicon kind of thing. So yeah, creepy and I'm loving this. Oh, it's so good. I'm obsessed. This is everything I want a horror book to look like. Here is the signed page. I'm assuming the back is the same. Yeah, the back is the same artwork. I think that's probably an anthema. An anthema? I think that's how you say it. Ritual dagger. I'm, I'm so excited. Five women are dead. The killer leaves no fingerprints, no DNA. Police are utterly stumped. In a world where only women can use magic and the men who know about it seek to eradicate them, three damaged young women, one cursed, one hunted, one out for revenge, will team up to track down and take out a brutal supernatural killer. Jude Wolf is rich as sin and handsome as the devil, but she's also cursed. Her immortal soul is tethered to a rather hateful demon and she wants the hell out of the deal. What Jude needs is a curse writer and she thinks the string of dead women, all of whom she suspects of messing with the occult, might just be able to lead her to one. Zara Jones has also been tracking the murder since they began. Her older sister was the killer's first victim. Zara doesn't just want revenge, she wants to find a way to bring her sister back. What Zara needs is a witch, a sorcerer, a necromancer, and what Zara needs is a curse writer. At the apartment of the fifth victim, Jude and Zara meet by chance, and there they find a clue that brings their past crashing together. A strange business card bearing three words, Emmer Burn Curse Writer. It sounds so good. It sounds so good. I'm so excited. This one easily is my favorite out of everything that we unboxed. It looks so good. They look so cool. Okay, yeah. Anyway, that's everything. That is finally actually everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. I'm glad we had two more boxes to shove in here that I didn't know were coming today. And yeah, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed so you don't miss any more unboxings. And make sure you leave a comment down below what you thought about the boxes, what you thought about the books, etc. That is everything I have for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video.